Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video, we're going to be looking at some headphones comparing the Audio-Technica ATH-M50Xs to the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros. So before we jump into this video, I'd first like to inform you that I will be giving away a pair of Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros to one of you guys. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram and follow all the steps in my last post. If you are interested in these headphones after watching this video, I also have some links down in the description below. And then last but not least, make sure you hang around all the way till the end so we can have a fun direct comparison between the two and hopefully find the perfect pair for your home studio setup. But without any further ado, let's jump straight into this video and see what these headphones are all about. The first pair of headphones that we can have a look at are the Audio Technica ATH M50Xs, which are one of the best priced studio headphones one can go for. Costing around $150, these headphones come in a black and silver design that sits super comfortably with turning ear cups for more flexibility. In terms of build quality, the M50Xs are fully plastic but they do feel well built and put together so they should last a good amount of time. When looking at additional accessories, these headphones come with three different detachable cables and a bag for on-the-go travel. In terms of frequency response, these headphones are well balanced with only a slight enhancement on the low end. Moving on to the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros, these headphones are another favorite amongst producers and home studios alike. Costing around $160, these headphones come in a black and grey design that sit nicely over the ear and the headband squeeze is perfect too. In terms of build quality, the DT770 Pros have a metal headband with ear cups that feel super comfortable. When looking at additional accessories, these headphones come with a carry bag for on-the-go travel and in terms of frequency response, these headphones are well balanced with a little less mid-range and slightly more high end. So now that we've gone through the slight overview of what these headphones are all about, it's time to move on to the direct comparison. And when I compare these headphones, I'm going to focus on the sound quality, the comfort, the features, the accessories and the overall build quality so that you can get a full perspective of which headphones are going to suit you best in your home studio environment. And starting off with sound quality, both of these headphones sound really, really good, obviously, but they do have a different kind of sound profile when you put them on and listen to music and mix and master and do all of those kinds of things. When you look at the Audio Technica ATH M50Xs, these headphones are very comfortable. They have a little bit more low end than the Bay Dynamic DT770 Pros, and everything is really well put together when you're mixing a song and working on a song. Whereas the Bay Dynamic DT770 Pros really have more of an outspread type sound where you can really hear where your instruments are lying, nice and clear, not as low and heavy as the ATH M50Xs, but also very nice in terms of knowing where your sounds are and understanding your mix placement, especially if you're going to pan sounds all over the place. So in terms of sound quality, I'm going to rate the Audio Technica ATH M50Xs 4 out of 5 and I'm going to give the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros 4 out of 5 as well. Moving on to comfort, both of these headphones again do a very very good job of being nice and comfortable, being easily worn especially for long periods of time and not being very irritable. But when we look at the Audio Technica ATH M50Xs, they don't have the same size ear cup as the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros. Luckily the ear cushions are quite soft so they don't push too hard on your ears. Even though they are over ears, they do touch your ears on the edges where the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros kind of go all over your ear and you don't really feel feel any pressure on your ears at all. In terms of squeeze around the headband, these aren't too tough. The Bayer Dynamics are slightly tighter, so again, not too nice for long, long periods of time because they do push a little bit, but overall they are super comfortable and so are the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs. If I had to rate these headphones in terms of comfort out of 5, I would give the Audio-Technicas around a 4.5 and the Bayer Dynamics a 4. 
Moving on to the features between these two headphones, when you look at the ATH M50Xs, you definitely get a lot more compared to the Bay Dynamic DT770 Pros, whereas with the M50Xs, you're getting the rotating ear cups, you're getting a detachable cable, where with these, you're not getting any detachable cable or rotating ear cups, they're pretty static when they're on your head. So in terms of features, you're getting a lot more with the M50Xs, so in terms of a rating out of five, I would definitely give the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs a five out of five, and for the Bay Dynamic DT770 Pros, a 3.5 out of five. Moving on to the accessories between these headphones, again, the M50Xs smash the DT770 Pros out of the park, because with these headphones, you get a bag, three different detachable cables, one is coiled, one is nice and short for just everyday walking around listening to music, and a nice long one for in the studio and better mobility when walking around. Whereas with the Bay Dynamic DT770 Pros, these headphones obviously are not detachable in terms of the cable. You do get a coiled cable, which is kind of nice, so I have to give them good marks on that. But it is again only so long. Yes, you can extend it a little bit with a coil, but otherwise it's not as versatile at all. And the bag is also not as nice as the M50. M50X. So you're definitely getting a lot more with the M50Xs compared to the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro. So again, out of five, I would have to give the Audio Technicas a five out of five, where the Bayer Dynamics get a three out of five. And then the last thing that we're going to focus on when comparing these headphones is their build quality, where in my opinion, the DT770 Pros are a little bit better built than the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs, mainly because these headphones are fully plastic. Yes, they are actually still well built and they're still quite solid, but they do have a full plastic body, whereas the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros have a steel headband all the way around. The mounts are kind of steel metal quality, so you do expect it to last longer, not break as easily because it's not plastic. So overall, the build quality is a little bit better than the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs, but not that much. And out of five, I would have to rate the Bayer Dynamics around a 4.5, whereas the Audio-Technica is around a 4. So that brings our comparison ratings between the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs and the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros to an end. And yes, the Audio-Technica has definitely won by quite a bit because they ticked a lot more boxes if you look at the overall perspective of what you're looking for in headphones. But on the other hand, the Bayer Dynamics are still an amazing pair of headphones. And if you aren't someone traveling a lot, not needing a bag, not needing to switch up cables, you're looking for a pair of headphones that are just gonna sit in your studio and you're gonna use them, they are also an amazing pair. And I've had to be honest that if the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros also had a detachable cable, maybe a few more cables, and it could also twist and have a little bit more features, I would actually probably go for them. So it is still a difficult choice between the two. You can't go wrong with either. Again, it all depends on what you're doing in your home studio environment and why you would want to purchase a pair of these headphones. But that brings this video to an end of my comparison between the M50Xs and the DT770 Pros. And again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to enter the giveaway and win a pair of Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros. Also, if you're interested in these headphones, links are down in the description. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up and if you loved it subscribe down below and i will see you for another video next time wish i could say i was finally over you but that's not the truth mm -mm. everyone always keep falling in love again